Good morning, Craig here with Craig's Car Care with another FAQ. Uh, this is uh, going to be maybe a repeat of some of the other ones here uh, with the Ford EcoBoost motors and the, uh, the timing chain slap that you guys hear in the mornings. And if it goes long enough, you hear it all the time. And it's not detrimental to the entire engine where you just got to replace the thing. And that's why we have a lot of people uh, having us repair these things. Um, Garrett's up here working on this 2018. I'll kind of just try and throw the picture in here. That 2018, this one is a 3.5, but they're similar. Was it 3.5, 3.7? 3.7, uh, I believe 3.0. Maybe a 3.0 and some of these other ones in there that all had the similar noises and things going on there. Um, so, uh, you know, when you jump into these things, you know, the chains, of course, sit back behind here and you have to pull the valve covers off. We replace a lot of the valve covers from cracking and, and oil leaks and things, why it's apart. And then all this front stuff's gotta come off. Um, he's already just getting started on this here. And this, of course, you know, is just another EcoBoost, as you can see there. And, and uh, what parts are you gonna replace on this thing? Could you do just updated phasers if it needs them, chains and some tensioners? You could. We usually go a step further because after 100 plus thousand miles, these things are completely apart. And anything in there that's a wear item part, now it's time to change it. The labor is already a done deal. So uh, if you can do it, then let's add a bunch of parts in there to make sure that after we do all this work, that some other part doesn't fail that we were just near in the last, you know, six, eight, 12 months, a year or so. Let's make this thing last way into the future. So what we find is going through, there's of course a ton of gaskets and things, and we, there's actually a lot of uh, single use bolts that we replace. And uh, you got your phasers, we're using the Ford silicone. There's some good aftermarkets, we just find this one works real well for us. You got the guides, and, and there's just all kinds of parts back in this thing. Uh, these are, you're gonna have phasers and things in here, and of course your new chains, uh, the stuff that's actually causing the noise. Um, we're okay doing, doing you know, what the client wants to do. Uh, typically after we have a conversation, we'll usually all come to the same idea. Let's get it all done while we're in there and make this thing go another 100,000 miles, maybe another 10 years, and come out for a good service and repair. We'll try and get more of an updated video as we get a little bit further along to share with you. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know about your comments. Please uh, like and subscribe, however that works up there, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a good day.